from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Thursday morning. We are starting your Friday junior off a little chilly out there. Temperatures currently ranging from the upper 40s into the middle 50s. A few lower 60s on the board as well, but we're all starting to see those winds shift across our area. We did have a cold front move through early this morning, and that's bringing us in some cooler air from the north and east right now. Sustained wind speeds in Lubbock of 12 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour in Dimmit, 13 in Clovis, and 10 in Brownville. Notice the wind still shifting a little bit to our south, and that's because that's where our cold front is currently located. That cold front continuing to push through our area. The one that we saw earlier this week, well on off across the east coast now. But this trough that's digging through our region, that's what's bringing us the cooler air today and tomorrow. But notice this ridge out west. This is what's going to bring us the heat as we head into next week. Out on our Overton West Live Sky View, though, you can see the moon high and bright in the sky still early this Thursday morning. This is the first full moon of October, known as the harvest moon typically because it signifies the first harvest for farmers across the United States. But we will actually see a second full moon this month that will occur on Halloween night, and that one's nickname is the Hunter's Moon. So we have an article over on our website, everythinglubbock.com. You can read more about those there. But back home for today, temperatures will be nice and seasonal for this time of year, topping out into the upper 70s and lower 80s. We will have that mostly sunny sky across the area throughout the day, but it will be a little breezy. Those winds gusting upwards of 18 to 22, even up to 30 miles per hour at times. Notice a high of 78 in Lubbock, 79 O'Donnell, 79 for Post as well. Maybe a few more 80s across portions of the Permian Basin, but it looks like northern portions of our area will stay socked into the middle 70s for our Thursday. Now there's that trough across northeastern portions of the United States. That's what's bringing us the cooler air today. We'll see a little bit more of a surge of that here Saturday night into Sunday as another cold front starts to move into our area, but next week that's when that high pressure system begins to build into our area and that's going to warm us up and unfortunately keep us dry. So notice the cold front moving through with maybe a few rain showers across the north central portions of Texas, but back here in the South Plains where we need that precipitation the most, we're just not going to get it. Unfortunately, we will see a little bit more of that cooler air, but Monday into Tuesday, those temperatures will begin to warm back up over the next six to 10 days, though. Below average chances for precipitation here pretty much across the entire United States, with the exception of Florida and the Pacific Northwest. And then when we take a look at temperatures, those above average temperatures start to make their way back into our area as well. So we'll, we may be looking at a hot tober here over the next couple of weeks as temperatures start to increase due to that ridge of high pressure. And Kathleen, that ridge of high pressure has is what has been with us all summer long, keeping us very dry and very warm. But at least we'll be cool now through the weekend before that summer like heat returns as we head into next week. Yeah, that summer heat not wanting to go anywhere, but hopefully we can no. just remind summer. Hey, we're in fall now. You're done. You've had your time. Just go away. <laughs> you know, it was a little colder in the first part of September, so maybe we're just making up for that and the colder air will be back in a few weeks. Maybe.